Just derived fuel plant. The RDF plant um, receives about 1,500 tons of garbage a day and processes that into 1,200 tons of refuse derived fuel. Produces enough energy for about 30,000 homes. Uh, every day we receive uh, 50 to 60 truckloads of fuel from the uh, Elk River Resource Recovery Facility. Loads a a uh, conveyor system that brings the fuel into the plant. The, uh, the, there's a walking floor system that, uh, that feeds an incline conveyor, which then feeds a belt conveyor, which runs in the tube that you see uh, that tr goes across the railroad track into the top of the power plant. That's a belt conveyor that then feeds our distribution system within the plant. Um, and we're also truly a renewable fuel the majority of the uh, RDF is paper and wood-based products, which are renewable. There are packaging, plastics, and other things in there, uh, which are uh, fossil fuel-based, but uh, we're truly recycling the energy out of those. We control our combustion, and we uh, clean up all of the flue gas before we emit it into the atmosphere. It is hard to imagine this garbage and trash being converted into a useful energy source. But this experimental process is proving successful. The trucks are unloaded at the plant and the domestic solid waste is scooped onto a conveyor belt. The belt is equipped with a scale for weighing so that the shredded refuse can be fired into the furnaces with coal and used as an auxiliary fuel, in which the material is swirled and burned in suspension at 2,500 degrees. Fly ash is collected for recycling in the cement industry.